Hello everyone, Messy Plays here, back at it again. How are you doing today? I am playing Sherlock Holmes Crime and Punishments. Oh. Blindfolded Sherlock. Classic. How many times does that happen in the book? Because everyone seems to riff on it. Holmes, will you stop that? It is a fun detail. Shows how much Sherlock is unhinged. How many bullets does he have? Didn't reload. Stop, Holmes. Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded. Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Confident step, clinking handcuffs, policeman. Ninth step avoided, Lestrade. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The many men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I should help Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. It's a good, uh, good model for Watson. He looks pretty. What's the word? English. It's like an old magician. <laughs> okay. Was something going to happen there? Well, Sherlock's got his type. Fair enough. Investigate the murder. Investigate the murder of Peter Carey. Okay. I cannot leave yet. I am not finished yet. What do I need? Okay. Evidence. Peter Carey. What all what do I need here? This is where I keep my post. Okay. My archive. I can always cons Watson's room. Let's check under the bed. Didn't he drop a book? And now the book is picked up. Continuity errors. I cannot leave yet. I am not finished. What do you yet. want me to do? A map of London and the surrounding area. It could be useful. You go along to Peter Carey's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will take care. 
Do I need to get dressed? Oh, what a mess! What a terrible mess! I am so sorry. It wasn't me. I wasn't in control. What do I need to do? I cannot. Leave. I wish you would tell me what I need to do. Give me the hint. Give me the room thicko hint. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. Sounds a bit like uh, what's it called? Let's examine again. Nope, nothing is happening there. Nothing that I'm interested. In. Is this his punch bag? You go along to Peter Kerr's house. Mrs. What Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made here. Yes, I agree. God, I love the design of the room. Damn good job. Oh, let's get dressed. Am I going in disguise? I can comb my hair? What? Oh, is this the different um, interpretations? Okay, well, we've got to have the classic DF Stalker. Yeah, it was 10. Nope. It's a pretty boss hat. I do like those glasses. Can I get the pipe? Facial hair, are you kidding? Wow. Oh. Oh my lord. Are these all locked? Is it trying to tell me it's locked? It's got a lock on. Yeah, I got a feeling. That is some horrible fucking hair. Right. Which one's not locked? Casual suit. We'll do it. God, what a good looking game. Let's go. Carries us. Some uh, parkour next, Assassin's Creed. We're going to be climbing the buildings. I'm surprised that hasn't been made yet. Parkour Holmes. Come on. Join the strad. It's going to turn the police after. What's T do? Okay, so we've got our Robbie Downey Jr. Uh, Robbie Downey Jr. kind of slow motion mode. It seems that the garden was well maintained. Excellent. That looks like I'm wearing a Mr. wig. Holmes? It's got a nice atmosphere. It seems that the garden was well maintained. Holmes almost seems, I don't know, otherworldly. And just be the way he walks. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we Two can, seconds, Mrs. Pet. Kearney, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. <sighs> Madam. Can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock, I noticed the cabin door was open. 
But I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. Okay. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance. You two were married. He had a big ass beard. Big you don't look like a typical couple. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk. Good um, in the facial expressions. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh, no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. He lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. Hmm. Is there a garden, I know? The garden is very large and well-maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Wow, this is straight out of um, a Poro game. What am I going to do? A is backward and D is forward. Brooch. Cameo? Is that what they're called? Birdhouse, who gives a shit? Book. Crested tit. She's not that bad. Draw. Cool. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he? When you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? Never mind. Shit. I didn't even twig what was going on about that. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. God, I love He was it. different, wasn't he? When you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? Q? You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. Cool. The Good shortest rain. route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. How fucking amazing! Okay, let's have a snoop around, shall we? How do I interact with things? Let's go in here. Can we open the door? No. Strictly outdoor only. What's in here? Let's go and talk to Lestrade. Oh, I can run as well. Sweet. Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch anything. The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday. The to body's sure going to no be gone. Enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. So 
scratches. What does T mean? Scratches. These scratches are fresh. Why would you right. scratch a lock? Someone tried to force. Ah, I don't door. have the key. Scratch, scratch, scratch. scratch. The scratches were not here yesterday. Now, mysterious you would, visitor. You wouldn't focus on the night. lock. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. Can we finally get inside? Whew. What a terrible way to die. What the hell? It was a struggle like. Knock that sign down. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. This man is in his 50s, yet he still looks quite strong. Pool of blood. Doesn't blood dry brown? <coughs> is that the detail that they always forget is blood dries brown? This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. This wooden handle is plain and solid. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. Are you sure he didn't succeed? How do you know? JHN are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. They left a notebook behind? Oh, you can rotate. Blood on the bottom. I'm done with that. I'm done. Come yeah, on. Let's keep looking, eh? Tobacco pouch, PC. The initials PC have been crudely. Peter has something. Hmm. Mm. This aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. Oh dear, we've got a room type puzzle. Give me a second. Hmm. Here we go. Seen a ship. What on earth? Oh, here we go. I'm on a fucking boat. How on earth does this work then? Okay. I've got no idea what I'm doing. I've literally got no idea what I'm doing. I can see the boat. This is fucking crazy, man. What? Oh, okay, hold on. Right. Okay, well, if I can't move you left and right then you must be over here somewhere ok 
Okay. There you go. Ta da! This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. Hmm. Someone drank from this. So that told me everything. Know, this is tobacco, and yeah, sailors smoke it. Rum. It seems that Captain K. He liked his booze. Got a wrestling medal. Nice boots. Peter carries boots. They look to be a old navigation. I like the music. It's got a everything is otherworldly. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey. The tooth of a sperm. What does T do? Shelf. Suspiciously empty space, outline and dust. This place is not covered with dust. Little like treasure chest. Shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book, a box or a small chest, perhaps. I could be a fucking detective. I said that. It seems that. No way, uh. Dundee. Hammerfest. It's a whaling map. The Sea Unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter hmm. Carey was her captain. Have we seen everything in here then? Have you finished inspecting the crime scene? I need to check these uh, footprints, Donna. What does F and T mean? My god, I'm getting confused. Carries boots. These boots don't match the footprints. Cool. These foot Maybe about a 10? Hmm. What are you thinking, Holmes? I'm thinking suicide. It was a crime of passion. He harpooned himself in a fit of rage. Let's talk to this old bint again. Is this your husband's tobacco pouch? No. I'm not sure. It might be, but he hadn't smoked in a very long time. Why the fuck you lying? Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a ball. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. It's gone now, bitch. Thank you, madam. Okay. Let's hurry up, shall we? Talk to this chat. Have you finished inspecting the crime scene? I can't uh, connect some fucking dots. What's this? Evidence. Is 
there anything else I can look at? There's nothing else I can look at. Yeah, you take that book. of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. Open. These abbreviations mean something, but what? Rano. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's do a B thing. Yeah, what I was doing there. Ha! Someone was ha. here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Let's organize an ambush. Escape from this. Well, Mr. Holmes, what do you think? Suicide. I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oh, you've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. Okay. But can I just skip to the ambush? We need to find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carey's cabin, near the window. Near the window. This looks like the perfect hiding place. Let's just sit on the ground now and wait. My god, you couldn't even get a chair. Hope the gamma's alright for you guys. Shh. Did you hear that? Shh. Did you hear that? Just a kid, man. There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. Zip. Hold it right there. Can't walk this way. Who are you, Sonny? I've, I've been paid. I don't All know what right, I'm doing. Fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. You look very innocent. And they're leaving the body there. What are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. Look at his hands. We here waiting for He's you. a workman. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I. I, I didn't. Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but 
but I yes it it's just that I couldn't I'm tired of this off we go to the yard tomorrow I'll see that you're putting he works on a boat tell by the hands but you can't pulls not, ropes it's a terrible mistake enough you can explain all of that to the judge you're coming with me to the yard but in light of recent events it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary all the same I'm very grateful to you mr. Adams Holmes has got some you dandruff welcome, like inspector but please don't be too hard on our young fellow I would like to question him tomorrow morning well guys I'm gonna leave it there I hope you enjoyed that if you did please like comment and subscribe and I will join you next time for more Sherlock Holmes Sherlock Holmes crime and punishment really good Interesting game. Bye-bye, guys.